Hello, Libra. Welcome to November 2022 and welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Please keep in mind, Libra, that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, also understand that we may possibly be speaking to a cross watcher here. So just place this into your life as it fits naturally. Don't try to place anything that doesn't fit naturally. Yes. Um, also keep in mind that even though this is a message coming through for the month of November, it's still a fairly timeless reading. So whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. I'm feeling inspired to mention that um, this, uh, for some reason, for some of you, this may not resonate right away. Okay, this you may want to come back to this at a later date, you know, watch it now, but then uh, at a later time, it may make more sense um, given more time for things to play out and transpire yes um also keep in mind that i am available for a private reading if you would like to get a private reading with me please don't hesitate to do so all you got to do is check the information in the description box below where i list the readings that i offer and my email address shoot me an email let me know you're interested and i'll be more than happy to get you all hooked up there and while we're on the topic of private personal readings. Um, if you're interested in getting one, also understand that you have the option of getting a discount on your readings, either a 10% discount or a 20% discount um, or $10 off to altogether. And that could, and that is available to you through Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below. Uh, becoming a member over on Patreon is not only a great way to support the channel and the work that I do here. Um, and is also not only a great way to get, um, extra content with me throughout the month, but it's also a, a way that you can get your 10%, 20% discount or, um, at one specific tier, you can get $10 off your reading, either a 30 minute live session or a uh, recorded freestyle reading with me um, for which is normally $65. If you go on this top tier of Patreon, that's $55. You get uh, one of those readings and you get all of the readings that have have been available and will continue to be available in the future and that come up in the future uh, should you continue to be a member. Yeah, so that's actually a really great deal. But if you're interested in that deal, make sure you check that out as soon as possible because that tier is limited. I believe there's only five spaces. Yes, there are only five spaces for that per month for that uh for that tier so check that out if you're interested yes all right libra let's get into your energy here um and your reading for this month for this time period i'm feeling a very peaceful energy for you i feel like you're very much at peace right now doesn't mean that there may not be you know some tumultuous things going on there may not necessarily it's not necessarily that there isn't any sort of chaos or any sort of challenges that you need to face right now i just feel like Libra, you're in a very peaceful energy. You're approaching whatever challenges you're going through at this time from a peaceful place, from a, uh, a, a, a an optimistic mindset, from a level mindset. I am seeing a Four of Swords energy for you. Um, I'm also hearing stress is being mitigated and or handled quite expertly at this time. So if that's you or, or if that's resonating with you, then excellent, Libra, excellent. I'm going to give this one more shuffle for you and we will get into the cards for you for this month. Yes, for my Librans, Sun, Moon and Rising. Let's go. Let's see what's going on for Libra at this time. What guidance, what messages can we bring to Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising at this time? Okay, first card you have here is the King of Pentacles. Libra, the first thing that I feel, the first hit that I get from this King of Pentacles is that this is someone external to you. This may even be a romantic partner. Also, some of you, may, you may still be a Libra. Um, if you have some sort of connection with someone, I'm hearing it's a romantic partner, but you could potentially be cross-watching for this individual or at least at the very least if you are the libra here i mean granted you could be a double libra you both could be libra in some house on moon and or rising um but also for some of you that are libra's who do have a connection with someone else this person's energy is coming through for your reading right now coming through into your situation it is represented as the he or she is represented as the king of pentacles could be an earth sign specifically a taurus or could have earth in their chart somehow or 
Okay, wait, I don't wanna to read too deeply into this right now. Okay, we do have the two of pentacles here. This individual, yeah, the next card that you have is the king of, I'm sorry, the two of pentacles. And then you have the 10 of wands energy. Overall is the page of swords. Okay, uh, first thing that I'm getting from this Libra is that this individual, I wanna say is between a rock and a hard place. Um, now this person could be you, keep in mind, granted this person absolutely could be you, but for some of you here, this is someone that you are cross watching for, or this is someone that you have some sort of connection with. Spirit is saying a stable connection with. For some of you, you are being encouraged to understand or at the very least keep in mind that you do have a stable connection with this individual. However, this individual is going through something, is between a rock and a hard place right now. You've got the King of Pentacles, you've got the Two of Pentacles, and you've got the Ten of Wands. And Libra, the first thing that I get from this is that this individual is trying to figure out their own circumstances right now. I do feel like this person is marriage potential, or at least this person is commitment potential if you haven't already reached a level of commitment with this person already. Um, and the main thing that I'm getting from this right now, Libra, is that this individual may not necessarily be giving you the time, attention, and or energy that you may want them to, but that's because they are trying to figure some stuff out for themselves right now. They're trying to find some sort of balance here, okay? The two, the, I'm sorry, the page of swords is at the bottom of the deck. This is all saying to me that this person here is really trying to figure stuff out right now. And it doesn't mean that they don't love you or it doesn't mean that they don't want to remain committed to you if this is a romantic situation and you guys have reached that level or um, uh, some sort of partnership. Uh, this could resonate for you in any way. All right, keep that in mind. Um, but the main message that I'm getting from this right now, Libra, is that this individual is really trying to focus on themselves, maybe even focus on their stability. I am hearing their self-worth. This person may be dealing with certain financial issues right now. I'm seeing an energy of someone like moving money around. And I don't necessarily mean that in an, in an illegal manner, although I don't know. Hey, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but it just feels like someone is trying to shift things around, make things work. Um, they may have taken on too much. You or this also, again, like I said, this could be you, Libra. But I feel like they're they're they're. In some cases, Libra, what I'm feeling for this energy is that it's not necessarily that this person has taken on more than they can handle. I definitely feel like this person can handle this situation, but it does feel like suddenly, all of a sudden, there's all kinds of burdens that this person is having to deal with. And that is really, I mean, given the current state of the world, right now, especially the, the state of, you know, the economy and, and many people's finances, there could be, it, it makes perfect sense why there could be sudden expenses or sudden changes or sudden burdens that this individual has to take a hold of, take into account, has to account for, has to handle, has to figure out. It does, it literally feels like suddenly, all of a sudden, all of these things or all of these circumstances have just been dropped onto this person's lap or dropped onto your lap. And now you're gonna, you're now you're having to figure out how to handle it. Okay, let's look, I wanna look deeper into the 10 of wands first for you, Libra, or for this person's energy. Show us what's going on with the 10 of wands here. What is this burden? First things first, I do want to make it very clear that I am, I am feeling and picking up on that either whomever this person is, this person is very much capable of handling it, okay? They are showing up as the King of Pentacles energy. The King of Pentacles is um, financially stable, financially um, wise, frugal with their money, or at least is able to, it, it, whatever. This person is able to handle it, okay? And then further confirming that, we do have the Nine of Pentacles here, all right? So this person is stable or is um, independent, or maybe this person or you, whomever this is, is working on becoming much more independent if they aren't in that space already, 
okay? And what I will say, what is helping this individual get to this space or work on getting to this space, Libra, is the fact that they are in that mindset. They are of that mindset now. Okay, doesn't mean that they necessarily were in the past. Maybe for some of you, this is a, or if some of, yeah, maybe for some of you or for this person, this is a new thing for them. This is a new chapter in their lives. This is something new that they are working on developing, but ultimately they are of this mindset. And so not only are they perfectly capable of it anyway, but they are, the fact that they are of this King of Pentacles mind, it's only helping them get there. Okay, clarify the Ten of Wands, please. So, so far to clarify the Ten of Wands, we do have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the High Priestess. Okay, and then we have the Wheel of Fortune, but the Wheel of Fortune is reversed. Yes, okay. And then the overall energy here for you, Libra, or I'm sorry, uh, clarifying this Ten of Wands is the Seven of Pentacles. I don't feel like the uh, Wheel of Fortune reversed is a bad thing. I feel like this person with the Wheel of Fortune reversed, this person is actually trying to reverse some maybe unfortunate situations that they have been a part of or they have come up, uh, uh, come upon. Um, uh, what I am hearing here is financial stability. This person is working on gaining some sort of, developing some sort of, cultivating some sort of financial stability. I get this feeling that they are trying to, or you, again, if this is you, this person is trying to reverse something and is working very closely with their intuition, maybe even very closely with the universe. But also this person may be fairly secretive about it. I do get this feeling here, Libra, of you wondering why maybe this person has retracted their energies from you, has pulled away from you somehow. Um, I do feel like either this is you being suspicious of the fact that maybe they are ashamed of this or they don't necessarily want to share this with you or quite frankly, anyone else, or maybe this is an actual element to it. Um, I don't necessarily get a level of shame here so much. I mostly just get this feeling of this person just is trying to keep it under wraps, is trying to keep it to themselves. I, I mean, you know, if someone normally when someone is struggling with something, they don't normally want to broadcast it to the world. You know what I mean? I'm not getting anything really truly malicious about this. I'm hearing that this person is keeping their plans to themselves. There's something about wanting or needing to or trying to unravel something that may have been done. Um, this could very well be an individual that is the head of an estate or has recently come into some um, ownership of, you know, a family fortune or maybe has gotten some sort of inheritance or uh, there is a feeling here of wanting to undo something that has been done in the past up until this point. Whether this is this individual is handling this for someone else, like a, an elderly family member or something, or they're trying to, or you're trying to unravel some sort of sticky situation, some sort of burden that you have gotten yourself into or maybe just found yourself in at this point, all right? Uh, really, the main message here, Libra, is that th is one of reassurance or maybe just assurance that this person hasn't retracted or re or, or taken these your, their energies from you, retracted their en energies from you because of something you have done, or maybe because they have fallen out of love with you, or they have they're no longer interested in you, or whatnot, whatever. It really just feels like a level of assurance that they are dealing with some pretty heavy burdens right now and and most of their time attention and energy has got to go towards or is at least being put towards unraveling this situation and with the seven of pentacles as the overall energy here libra i feel like really the question that this person is asking is how do we undo this situation the wheel of fortune in reverse how do we how do we turn back time how do we unravel this how do we turn the wheel backwards how do we start over and this person may 
may be very secretive or may just be, I just get this feeling that they're, the, the bulk of their energy or maybe the bulk of your energy is being put towards listening to their intuition, listening to their guidance system, learning about the, something, trying to uncover the secrets about something. Okay. Okay, let's look at the Two of Pentacles next. Clarify the Two of Pentacles for Libra, please. Clarify the Two of Pentacles for Libra. We've got the King of Swords. Being objective. I mean, look, the, the Two of Pentacles is all about finding some sort of balance here. I mean, it could be an energy of waffling back and forth, being indecisive, but right now someone is trying to be, this person or you are, are trying to be objective trying to figure something out. And the, the strongest thing that I'm getting from this right now is investigating, looking at what they have in front of them, trying to make sense of what is going on, trying to make sense cognitively, uh, logically, objectively of what is what it is they have in front of them before they can even start to put, like, let's say, a plan in place to, to fix it. This is an energy, this feels like an energy of before I can even begin to fix this situation, before we can even begin to turn back time, as Cher would say, uh, <laughs> I need to understand what it is I have in front of me first, okay? Clarifying this Two of Pentacles, please. Five of Pentacles is next. How did we get here is what I'm hearing. How did we even get to this place? Oh, okay, but then, but then, all right. But then we have the overall energy is the Knight of Swords, but clarifying the Two of Pentacles, we've got the King of Swords, we've got the Five of Pentacles, and we've got the King of Wands. Um, this is a good thing. This is a really good thing. In terms of this situation right now, Libra, this Five of Pentacles doesn't really feel like anyone is coming from a lack mentality type of energy. They may find themselves in a bit of a destitution, de a destitute type of uh, energy. They may find themselves, the main thing that I'm getting from this Five of Pentacles here is needing help, needing to ask for help needing some sort of assistance. This person may be coming to, or you may be coming to the assistance of someone else. Like I said, I am hearing specifically an elderly family member um, um, who maybe this person, uh, they have like a, a parent or maybe even a grandparent that has fallen ill or um, had an injury or an accident or is dealing with um, some sort of sudden financial turmoil just because of the state of the world or the state of the economy. But either this person is coming to someone else's aid. I do kind of feel like that's the case because the overall energy here is the Knight of Swords. It's like someone's coming in as someone else's knight in shining armor. Um, they have to fix this situation. But the, 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 the reassuring thing here is that this Five of Pentacles energy, which dominantly in this situation is speaking to needing to ask for help or needing some sort of assistance, is sandwiched in between the King of Swords and Wands. Especially the fact that you have the King of Wands here. There is a level of, of determination, sure, but also a level of confidence. Like I do, I really do feel like this individual, whomever this is, whatever role they're playing or however this is playing out in their lives, there is a level of confidence in terms of the fact that you know, we can get through this. I mean, it's an issue, but also it's not an issue. I feel like this is, this is the energy, this is an energy of someone say, instead of someone being like, oh, woe is me, how am I ever gonna do this? Like, this is impossible, blah, blah, blah. Instead of all that, they're saying, they're looking at this situation objectively and saying, okay, what do we have in front of us? And, and then asking the universe say, okay, how do we fix this universe? How do we make this work? How do we turn this around? Okay, this is a, Oh, this is a this is a really reassuring energy. All right, like I said in the beginning of the situation, you or this person are perfectly capable of handling this, of turning this situation around. What was turned upside down now turning right side up. Okay. All right. Finally, let's clarify the King of Pentacles. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Libra, please. Yep. 
Okay, we, the first card we have is the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Coins. This did fall out on the Wheel of Fortune reversed. All right, so this person may be providing financial aid to someone else for sure. But I get, I, uh, again, this is all about culpability. This person, or I'm sorry, capability, not culpability, capability. This person is absolutely capable of generating the seed that would need to be planted that can turn this situation around or that could grow something new here. Clarify the King of Pentacles, please. The Two of Swords. The, and then the Queen of Pentacles. And you know what's so funny about that, you guys? And then we're back to the seven of pentacles. What's so funny about the queen of pentacles coming out here is I was I, from this king of pentacles energy, I was feeling a level of being able to gestate this seed, to produce this seed. But then logically speaking in my mind, I, I, rash, I, I said to myself, well, that wouldn't that be more of a feminine thing? Wouldn't that be, you know, generating the egg, generating the seed? Um, wouldn't that be more of a feminine thing? And yet here we are. There's the Queen of Pentacles right there, okay? So clarifying the King of Pentacles here, we have the, the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. This person really, I mean, what is, a, what is aiding, what is adding to this capability is this person is very narrow-minded, has a one-track mind right now. And that one-track mind is generating or coming up with a plan of action. I'm really seeing this Ace of Coins or Ace of Pentacles, which typically I personally as a reader would say is the seed to be planted that would give birth or grow, give birth to the new or grow the new. In this specific case, I feel like the Ace of Pentacles or the Ace of Coins represents the path ahead, represents the understanding, or re I'm sorry, represents the, um, the way forward, the plan, the commitment to be made, that would be generated through or from the understanding that of what the situation is, okay? I mean, this was literally a 22 minute way of telling you Libra that if this resonates for you in terms of someone that you've been connected to that has recently pulled their energies away from you for some reason, it's assurance that they haven't done it because you have done anything wrong or they have fallen out of love with you or they have fallen out of interest with you. It's really just an assurance to you that they are dealing with something right now and most of their energies need to go towards generating, generating this new plan of action, this new way forward, this new path ahead. I also feel like this is dominantly an individual that is providing some sort of aid and or assistance to someone else, okay? Well, maybe not maybe it's not dominant, but that is for some in the Libra collective that are dealing with this right now, that is a that that for some of you that's the situation. For others of you, it's themselves that they're working on or it's yourself that you're working on, okay? Okay. Spirit is saying closing message. So closing message for Libra, please. Yep. Ten of Swords, Ace of Wands. Yes, ma'am. Anything else? Closing message for Libra. Eight of Pentacles. Absolutely. Take this one as well. The Hanged Man. Ooh. And then the overall energy is the Knight of Swords. There, I mean, there, this person or you, Libra, are bound and determined to get the job done, to end this situation, to end this circumstance. You have the Ten of Swords to the Ace of Wands. Okay, that to me is just confirming that there is either, there, you, they, you or they may not have the answers yet, but they are definitely inspired to figure out, to work towards ending this situation, okay? And there's also here, finally, uh, or, or, or lastly, in your closing message here, Libra, is the hanged man. This hanged man energy, it didn't necessarily come out on its own, but it did kind of fumble around in the cards, and I heard my intuition, I heard my guide say, take that one as well. The way that this hanged man energy feels for you, Libra, is this feels like an energy for someone who is dealing with this on their own, like dealing with this in their own lives. It's their own circumstances in which they are 
handling this situation. And this is happening because there is a big change in perspective. And what I want to say about this, Libra, is that this person is finally ready to handle and or address the situations, this wheel of fortune energy that has been reversed for them. I want to say you finally or they finally have the understanding that they need to understand why the wheel of fortune may have been reversed for them. They, I also want to say, and it could be, it, it could be either or, or, and, or it could be both. But the other thing that I'm feeling for the hanged man here is that this person is finally ready to address this. <laughs> they've gone through enough. They've seen enough. They got it. They have, they, they have the understanding now. And from that is coming the inspiration to do something about it. And not only the inspiration to do something about it and bring it to an end, but also to work diligently, work hard towards it. Okay. And I do feel like for some of you here of which this is of whom this is resonating in terms of someone else, a romantic partner, once they have this understanding, once they have this plan of action, they will be able to provide you more time, attention, and energy, obviously within the realms of the plan, the plan of action that they have set in front of them. But right now, this is a level of reassurance for some of you. Right now, they're the bulk of their energy and their attention okay, emotionally, mentally, physically, is being put towards figuring out, literally figuring out what this situation is before we can even figure out how to handle it, okay? So take that in mind, take that in, into account, and please don't take this personally, okay? Excellent, Libra. I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email, let me know you're interested, and I'll be more than happy to get you all hooked up. If you would like to support the channel, get some extra content with me, and even potentially get a discount on your readings, personal readings, please make sure to check out Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below as well. But with that said, Libra, I hope you have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>